Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we will be making a chuck roast. Now this meat is fork tender and it's going to be cooked in your oven. So if you don't have that slow cooker, this is the recipe for you. Or if you just want to cook in the oven. So right now I am drying that meat off and on the side here we have Creole seasoning, onion powder, and garlic powder. So I like to use Creole seasoning instead of season salt, but hey, do what you like. The flavors are yours. I have about a teaspoon and a half of that Creole seasoning, a teaspoon of onion powder, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'll also be using salt and pepper. You use that salt and pepper to taste and you can definitely like taste as you go uh, as you're making your stock for your roast. So let's mix those seasonings up so we can start seasoning each side of our meat. So right now, we will be having the oven uh, heating to 275 degrees. Get that ready to put your meat in there. This will be a really slow cook. So, you know, take your time here. But the good thing about this, everything will be done in one pan. Once you have all your ingredients together, you're just good to go. So let's get this meat seasoned and we will be putting it in our hot pan soon. Rub that in. And don't worry guys, I am cooking for my family. My hands are very, very clean. Let's get that seasoning on there. I like using Creole seasoning. I have a lot of all-purpose seasonings like adobo, uh, seasoned salt, lari's, but hey, I say use what you like and you know even try out different flavors. Now what we're gonna do is save that seasoning for the rest of the process. I like to season my veggies as I put them in too. So our meat is pretty much good to go. I'm gonna let that sit for about five to 10 minutes, uh, add the pepper, about five to 10 minutes before we add it to our pan, just letting those seasonings soak in. And that meat is at room temperature. So let's get our oil in that hot pan. I use avocado oil, place that meat down away from you and we are getting everything in. And the crazy thing about chuck rolls or any type of rolls, they take you know a long time to cook and get that meat tender and break down those muscle fibers and that fat. So even the smaller piece, you don't have to worry about it. And once it came out, it was just as tender as the bigger, thicker piece. You know, these are not like regular steaks where you're worried about looking at different temperatures. Um, there's Probably very minor differences in the meat, but honestly, everything was just fork tender and tasty. So I treated it the same way I did the dark, uh, the the thicker cut. So one thing I did realize is that I didn't sear this super long <laughs> like I did before in the crock pot video, but hey, it still worked out. So let's get our onions in. I use what I had. Usually I use a white onion or yellow sweet onion, but all I had was red onion. We're gonna put some seasoning in, some tomato paste, and let's use that whisk to get that fawn up. And we're gonna be mixing everything, some butter and some garlic. I actually put the garlic in. We wanna get that nice and sauteed too. We have some dry herbs, rosemary, a little bit of thyme and we're gonna mix everything in. This is Better Than Beef Bouillon. I love this flavor. I know a lot of people, you know, like to balance out with chicken stock, so even use that. Half a cup of wine. And then we're gonna follow up by taking some more of that off the bottom of that pan that is full of flavor, and we wanna make sure we grab all of that. So now we're gonna get our stock ready our Worcestershire, carrots, and then come in with our stock. So this is beef stock, but hey, if you have veggie stock, chicken stock, then we're gonna add our herbs right back on top. We wanna make sure we wrap this really, really tightly, and I am not gonna be checking on this at all. I'm gonna let this go for a good three to four hours, 
until that meat is fork tender. The good thing is if you're two or three hours in and you feel like your meat is a little tough, you can put it back in. But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you love this recipe. Happy holidays to you guys. Well, it's the new year already. Happy 2021. Have a great year and definitely eat good. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye.